there's a bunch of issues Snowbreak players and content creators face when trying to access the latest official news and updates from Season on Billy Billy, like not being able to access it due to IP restrictions or the site being too slow and Google Translate just not working very well. Happens sometimes. So, to solve this problem, I coded a custom translator and created a brand new newsfeed feature in my beginner's guide, which updates every hour with the latest 12 posts from season. The feed is directly updated with my translator, which is trained on Snowbreak lingo. It's not perfect, but it at least gets the name of the game and most of the characters properly. You're not going to get 10 by banana forbidden area as a translation for Snowbreak containment zone or meat dish as a translation for Yao, which isn't entirely an inaccurate translation, but you know, it's still not a great translation. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen both of these hilarious translations by Google Translate while working on this. And as much as I like these funny translations, it can be kind of hard to get real information from this. And in fact, we just got a new update from Season while I was making this video, so let's compare the translations live. But before I get into that, let me explain how this feature actually works. This newsfeed is actually very simple to use. You can click on any of the cards to open up a pop-up with the full translated article. And if you scroll down, you can open the original article in a new tab with this button. I recommend going to the top right here and changing the option for the pop-up view to be at the right side. You can also pin this if you want to browse the guide while having this on the right side and you can also adjust the length of this as you like. You can click on any of the cards and the article will switch to that and there's another navigation section at the bottom of the article to access articles that might be hidden by the pop-up. Alright, now that I've explained the feature, Let's open up the Google translation of the article and see what's different. As you can see, it gets some basic snowbreak lingo wrong like fanny or fanny, analysts for adjutant and dusty restricted area or like dusty forbidden area for snowbreak containment zone, basic stuff. Now if you go back to my translation, it gets most of the basic snowbreak terms to be correct because that's what it's trained on. Not perfect, but it's slightly better and this is just version 1 for testing with a small data set. That's why this is an experimental feature. Now if you're a content creator watching this, feel free to use these translated articles in the guide to discuss the latest updates like this one, which really is just mostly bug fixes for Fanny Starshine and putting her in chapter 13 story. It was honestly strange that she wasn't playable in the story stages when most of us played it, but I'm glad they made this change. Better late than never. Now, if you're wondering why this feature is experimental, it's not just because of the translator I trained, it's also because this feature can break very easily. That's why it's not at the top of the guide for now. Bilibili is notorious for an insane amount of anti-RSS and scraping measures. So I had to create my own feed generator and buy a premium host for it to fetch all the updates without getting rate limited. So not only will this feature break if Bilibili breaks anything by changing something, it will also break if my host stops working or if Imgur stops working. Yes, Imgur because I had to code it to re-upload the images to Imgur for them to embed into the site since the original URLs didn't work and if you click on any of the images, you'll actually get the link to the Imgur uploaded images. And uh, this will also break if something happens to the Coda API. But uh, this is just something new I'm trying out and I want to gauge the interest in this feature and how useful this is to the community before investing more in it. Of course, this would not be possible without all of your support. I'm really grateful for it. It's been a year since I created this guide and I've pretty much updated and maintained this guide solo since then. 
and now it's gotten so big with thousands of views every day. It has also been ad free since day one and I'm super super grateful for all the tips and donations you guys have sent. I really appreciate them and honestly I couldn't have done any of this alone. This guide is a culmination of a lot of effort from the community, especially the Yagdrasil Research Department in the Discord, where Penguin, Matsu, and Penny don't really play the game like before anymore, but they had massive contributions to the foundation of theory crafting for the global server, figuring out how mechanics actually work in the game at launch. It's been a community effort to keep this guide updated and as accurate as possible. And uh, even though I put my own personal spin on things, I make sure not to spread misinformation and to correct it ASAP if pointed out. I also don't make any drama videos or pure clickbait videos which have nothing to do with their title or thumbnail. Now, I'm not hitting on content creators who do that stuff. It's their job and they have to do it for the YouTube algorithm to make money. So I understand but it's just not my jam. I don't like making content like that or fostering a community that is more invested in drama than playing and enjoying games. That's why I really appreciate content creators who are just gamers. People who create gameplay showcases, speedruns, no-hit showcases, guides, memes, art, animations, and other fun and creative stuff. To be honest, I hate it when I myself get clickbaited that's why I use this extension called Clickbait Remover for YouTube on my personal account. I recommend it, it's way better for your brain. Okay, that was a long tangent. Let's get back to the feature. So, how am I planning to improve this feature in the future and how can you help? The best way to help me is just by naturally checking the section for news like you would usually do but I'd also appreciate the stress testing if you refresh the site a lot or just keep this guide website open and pinned in the background while you do other things. And based on how the statistics go, I'll work on improving the translation and other parts of the feature more to make it more useful. Maybe even add integrations for discords if I make a discord server which I'm thinking of maybe making one soon to create a new community. I don't know though, would any of you be interested in joining my Discord? If so, and if you have any ideas for it, I'd love to hear it in the comments and I'd also love to hear any feedback or suggestions for this feature in the comments. Feel free to comment them. The translation feature also is just very easy to improve. It just needs like a bigger data set but it takes a bunch of resources to train on a bigger data set so i need to know if it's even worth investing the time and money into it first before i do it right now it's just like an experiment for a cool idea this new feature is also not the only big update to the beginner's guide there's a massive update coming up i've updated the tier list the team building guide and his DPS guide and remember how I mentioned in my guide video for life and her builds guide to not farm for her optimal logistics till Penny Starshine comes out because she's likely to be the perfect support for her. Yeah, I've also updated life's guide to correct that the optimal substats for her no longer need skill haste if you're using her with Starshine. So hopefully you all didn't waste any resources. The full update will come in a few days since it's so big and needs to be reviewed by a bunch of people before I push it out. So keep an eye out for it. And that's it for this video. I hope you find this new feature useful and have a nice day.